And we're in the very early phases, but thanks to tools like Claude Code and um, GPT-5, you can basically be like, okay, let's build an evaluation suite. Like this is the criteria we want to, uh, to, to measure. These are the types of things. And then it just starts building this like tool for you to inspect the quality of the of the system. And I think that like you have to build these evaluation things, otherwise you won't be confident. You can't, and if you're not confident, you're not gonna put it in any serious application. And, uh, but it, it's it's getting easier to do, like build some of these like systems that allow us to build more trust, definitely. Yeah. So do you remember the very first response of Lead on Lead AI? What did, did, was he satisfied with the response or was he surprised? Was he? Oh, we offering? once, okay. I think it was like, we asked it, we asked it, I think 10 questions and we asked read 10 questions, the same 10 questions. And I think it was like five out of 10 were acceptable to him. And his main feedback was like, ah, it's too much buzzword bingo. It, it just uses too much of the like, you know, it sounds a little too chat GPT. But then I'm also like, well, read also uses a lot of big, you know, buzzwords for sure, um, which is my feedback. But it was it was very eye opening because it's like now you have a lot of the GPT, the biases of like the underlying language model show up in the character. And then it's like you can try to prompt engineer some of that. You can try to do like few shot for like style. Um, and one thing I realized that was kind of helpful was in the prompt having examples from. So I think of like the different sources of data. So you have like podcasts, you have books, um, you have speeches, you have um, tweets, et cetera, like LinkedIn posts, blog posts. And actually they all have a different kind of purpose. I think the podcast on top of the fact that you get this like high quality voice audio that you can train a voice clone on, which is great, right? Studio quality, no, no noise. You know, I can feed this into 11 labs and clone myself at a pretty good, like at least the voice level. But also what podcasts do, which is different from books and blog posts and writing is conversational style. So how you say something is often very different from how you write it. Because when you're writing, you're thinking about, you know, making it very structured and you're really compressing your, your idea into a form that's accessible. For, it's like more publishing. It's more editorial. You're spending a lot of time writing. But in, in conversation, it's more like you're it's closer to you in a stream of consciousness kind of way. So I noticed that, which was like, okay, if I have examples from the podcasts in the prompt, I can kind of like get, you know, iron out some of these, like I can make it more conversationally, like mimic his style. Um, 